Hey there guys and welcome to an extra long episode of Pokemon Platinum. We're here atop Mount Coronet where Cyrus is about to perform some sort of satanic ritual to create his new world. The red chain wave from the Crystal Three Lake Pokemon and this is the red chain upgrade with technological means. We'll pry open the portal to another dimension. Yep, that's some occult shit right there. Oh jeez, it even looks satanic as all hell. I'm scared. Someone hold me. What's he gonna do? Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the Master of Time, and the other, Palkia, the Master of Space and Dimensions. Okay, so... Oh, here they come. I'm guessing. One ball, two ball. And out of those come... Come on, don't keep us waiting. It's taking too damn long. Okay. Oh, I thought one was pink and one was blue, but no, there's Dialga, and there's Palkia. And those sprites are kind of awfully weird looking. Like Dialga is extremely skinny and Palkia is extremely buff. And they're kind of more like the opposite. How much of your abilities is mine? I don't think so. We'll create an entirely new world. We have now can disappear. Setting everything to zero, nothing can remain. And it's all for the making of the ultimate world, a world of complete perfection. This guy is so far off his rocker, it's not even funny anymore. Okay, there's the mountain, and... Whoa, that's an ominous looking sky. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh! There comes a yellow orb to the rescue. And a pink one. And... Waiting for it, a blue one. Those must be the three weird pixie Pokemon coming to save the day. And, yeah, I kind of screwed this up because for some reason the uh, dialogue and everything takes place on the bottom screen for this part of the game. I completely forgot about that, so I did not manage to catch the recording. But basically what happens is, I think Cyrus talks about, oh, the three Pokemon are coming to stop me, but they can't do anything. And the Alga and Palkia are doing stuff. And then Giratina shows up. Or at least uh, some weird sort of black portal thing shows up and Dialga and Palkia disappear. And the portal remains or something and then Cyrus jumps in and we go after him or something like that. I don't know, if you want to see the cutscene, go and look it up on YouTube or something. Or you've played the game yourself and you know how it goes. Don't really, maybe I should have actually looked it up before narrating this though. That would have probably been a lot smarter to do. Anyway, the three pixies are kind of just flying around doing absolutely nothing. Taking long... Okay, there we go. And now we are... Still waiting? There we go. Dialga and Palki are gone. As I said, there was a portal there. Cyrus jumped in. And the pixies are going to dive in as well, because... Hey, look, why not? It's a black hole. Let's dive in. Let's explore. And there's the pink one. Come on. Hop in already. What? What do you want? What do you want, Mesprit? And in he goes regardless. Okay, I don't really see what the point of that was. I'm sorry it took so long. Yeah, you uh, you would have been helpful. Dylan Palkia appeared. Apparently there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. Just as strong as the other two. Well, not really. I mean, Giratina's is good, but it's not as good as Dialga and Palkia are. In my opinion. The pillars are destroying us in that portal. Oh yeah, the pillars are all fucked up. Our world will be destroyed if we don't close the portal. Well, we have to chase Cyrus, let's go! Now you're playing with portals. And in we go. What could await us on the other side? Okay, this is trippy as all hell. This place... Can you feel it? There were no Pokémon here at all. The time has flown in space isn't stable. We're beyond the universe. The distortion world. Okay, that works. Let's find Gear. You said there were no Pokemon here. And Giratina is a Pokemon. Oh, oh shit. A huge Pokemon. And uh, the three Pixies are in here as well, so there's at least four Pokemon in this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we don't do this, the world will die or whatever. Wait for me. Okay. Yeah, we have to go platform hopping. It's like Mario, except without any of the difficulty. 
because you will never miss a platform. Okay, so we go on here. This rock slab, it appears to move if you step on a certain spot. Okay, so extra dimensional rock platform elevators. Now I have seen everything. Well, we get to see Gertin if we keep going down. That's what she said. Now that wasn't really my best one. That was kind of forced, I'll admit. I'm sorry for that one. That one was awful. Anyway, more platform hopping. And... P. Okay. You can't say P because that's not part of your name. Mesprit can only select Mess or Prit or whatever, not P. Anyway, continue on. Another elevator. Oh man, this place is so trippy. What the hell were those Japs smoking when they came up with this? Okay. Press on this one and then that one moves. And now we go back up. And that one doesn't do anything. That one doesn't do anything. So what's the point of this one then? It's a dead end. Okay, so then we'll go to this one. Doesn't do anything. Of course not. There we go. Why have that one to the left then? What's the point? No. Oh, where do we go now? Okay, I think this one's supposed to go up. Or... Not. I'm so confused now. I don't remember the layout of this place. But I think I am definitely not going in the right direction. Oh, stop. Where are you taking me? Oh, man. I am lost already. Where the hell did Cynthia go? Okay, this one doesn't really seem to move in any direction, so this is also a dead end. And... Oh, there it is. Thought I was stuck here for a moment there. That would be a dick move. Okay, right back up here. So, this is all a big waste of time. Ah, there we... Wait, was... I'm pretty sure I tried that one before. Okay, now this one... So I need to get this one to go up or something. Oh no! Oh, now it's getting even more twisted. This world. Mm -hmm. What is Brazil? Why is Giratine here all alone? Because he can't stand other people. I can relate. Oh, let's split up. We have to find the right way because there are way too many dead ends in this place. Okay, this one is supposed to lead me to... Up, no. Down, no. Right then. Okay. How about we go up, down? It takes forever to figure this stuff out. I really don't remember this dungeon being so long. And also so boring because there is absolutely nothing to do in here. No wild Pokemon, no trainers, no nothing. Okay, uh, up, no, down, no, left then. No? Then what the hell? Another dead end? I think I missed something, right? No, down, no. Then this one has to move. Yep, here we go. Okay. Uh, so we go up, and then this one will go down. I don't get this place at all. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. There's nothing else to be seen around here. Oh, this one, I think we haven't made it to this one before. Ah, there we go. Well, we're, we were supposed to keep going down, so I guess this is a good thing. Oh, great. Now things are starting to appear as soon as you get... Hey, there he is. Shadow Pigman isn't here. It abandoned me here and then disappeared someone further down. They continue to interfere with your plan. Yes, Giratina is a giant troll. And yes, I know what genes are, I suppose. You're humans and Pokemon alike. Genes are contained in a DNA strand. Okay, so since when did this game become a biology lesson all of a sudden? Where well, I'm going with this? Not really. Space isn't stable, time doesn't flow, the Shadow Pokemon lives here. The opposite of our world, our world that wish to change. Like the two chains composing a strand of DNA. Ah, so they're in balance. Without the one, the other cannot exist. And Giratina keeps them in balance, or something. Mm hmm. So I'm trying to change our world, disturb that it may reveal itself. That's all irrelevant. Defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear because then the other world will be destroyed as well because they're in balance or something. 
That is one twisted... Wait, where the hell did he go? That's one twisted plan. Alright, um... No, that's a dead end. Why are there so many dead ends in this? Damn it. I really, really hate this place. Ah, here we go. Making, damn it, progress. Uh, step on this. Ah, for, nice, going down. That's what we're supposed to do. And here we... Okay, I guess I need to step on those platforms there. Why oh, can't... Oh, there's a rock there. Completely forgot about that one. Oh, look, they even have trees here. And... Hey, there's Uxy. And not Uxy, as like the anime and the, uh, the games pronounce it. If you were supposed to pronounce it Uxy, there would have been a Y in front of the U. So it's Uxy. Not Uxy. Uxy just sounds dumb. Anyway, time for more strength puzzles, oh boy. So I'm supposed to push that thing in the hole? Or something? I can see Uxy down there. Ah, here we go. I uh, go left, because that's the only way we can go. Hey, and there's Mesprit. Yes, 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 you can fly around me. And then, yeah, the boulder. And then down the hole. Alright, makes sense. And then there should be another one right around here somewhere. Wait, why am I going back up? I'm not, I didn't want to go back up. Or are we supposed to go here? Are we still on the correct path? Trees blocking my way. Bloody hell. Oh. So many illusions in this place. Oh jeez. And of course Giratina still flying around as well. Alright. Damn it. I think we're... Yeah, definitely still on the right path. Or at least in places we haven't been to yet. But we're going back up. I thought we were supposed to go down. This is probably not good. Oh. Oh, I thought there was absolutely nothing there. I was going to jump into the abyss. Tempting as it is, though. Oh, another invisible platform. Okay, honest, I can see Cyrus down there. So, is that where I'm supposed to go? I suppose. No. Why does everything keep disappearing? Bloody hell. Uh, no, this is all a complete dead end. I really, really hate this place. I definitely don't remember it being this confusing. Okay, so there's nowhere else we can go to but here. Evidently. Uh, stop, stop. Oh, there we go. And actually put me on the right level. So maybe that's what we're... That was supposed to happen. And look, you can even surf here. How nice. Octillery also gets to see this weird-ass... Jeez. This weird-ass place. Oh, now we're going sideways. It's like Super Mario Galaxy before Super Mario Galaxy was even a thing. Oh, no, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure Mario Galaxy came out before Pokemon Platinum did. I, th I think Mario Galaxy was in the same year as Diamond and Pearl were. 2007. I believe. Anyway, we are, uh... Yeah, water is flowing up. Screw gravity, screw physics. This place does not follow any of those crazy rules. And it's the longest waterfall ever. A reverse waterfall, or whatever the hell you call it. Alright. Hey, and there's Azelf. Yeah, yeah, take the boulder and shove it down your hole. I know the drill. Even though I kind of skipped the uh, other two. Which, right now I'm starting to think I wasn't supposed to do. So, I need, probably need to go back up there and shove those things down the holes as well. Anyway, boom, that's one. And then here are trees that do not disappear. And then... Uh, crap, I think I just messed it up again. Anyway, there's another down the hole. But then, uh, yeah, I kind of needed to go up there to get to the third one. So I definitely messed that up good. So I guess it's time for another lap around the place. 
because these ledges I'm not getting back up those. So that's uh, that kind of sucks. So yay, we're taking the scenic route, another path around. Yep, this place again with the illusory trees that keep vanishing. Can't take a shortcut through there, sadly. It's not like if you have a Pokemon that knows cut, you can cut these things down. That'd be awesome. Mm, nope, that's not the right way. Oh, I'm getting so tired of this place. Who thought this was... Well, it, it, it kind of is a good idea, I guess. It's an area unlike anything ever seen in a Pokemon game. But why does it need to be so long? Like, there is also too much of a good thing. Okay, I think we were supposed to go this way and then... Through here, yeah, and then take this thing down. And this should lead right to the weird waterfall place. Yep, go surf here, and then we should be right at the waterfall again. Alright, I got this. Took me a little while to figure it all out, but I think I finally mastered it. Look, we're upside down now. This must be how Spider-Man feels like, walking on the ceiling and all that stuff. That'd be a pretty cool superpower to have, you'd be able to w climb walls easily and walk on the ceiling and all that stuff. Anyway, just uh, surfing my weird octopus down a reverse waterfall. Most normal day ever. Do that every day of the week. <sighs> Takes so long though. And we're here, finally. Alright, up we go. And now I need to remember to actually only hop one ledge, go up here, then cram the boulder down that hole. And I need to use strength again for some reason, even though I'm still in the same dungeon, the same floor and everything. Can I... Okay, so I can push the boulder down that hole, but I... Oh, here we go. I was gonna say I can't jump down that hole myself. Alright, so let's see what we have here. That's a dead end. Not a good start. Uh, do we need to do something with the boulder? Perhaps... No, I do not want to go back up. Down. I'm just, just trying to explore this place. Oh, okay, there's Cynthia. This place seems to be a giant puzzle. To test those that visit here. Yeah, Giratina is a huge troll. Odd pits on the floor. The Pokemon of the Lake seems eager to show us something. They're showing us the right hole. Or something. Okay, so that one will need to go. Why do I need to use strength again? I'm still on the same floor. Maybe whenever you use an elevator, you need to reset the strength thing or whatever. Anyway, cram that thing into that pit. And P again, yes, P. P everywhere. And okay, we. Yuxi uh, was right up there. So we take this one. And then we push it into that one. And then he will also say P. Why do they all like P so much? It's kind of disturbing. And then there's a Zelfo. That one is really easy. One, two, and three. Wow, so challenging. Hardest. And he says PU. So yes, he's kind of disturbed that the other two are so much into P. So a Zelf is really the only sensible one. No time for idle chit chat. No, it isn't. Oh, geez, it's a platform. Out of nowhere. Let's jump on it. Oh, look, there's Cyrus again. Alright. Guess we need to confront him one more time in this weird ass place. Yaratina is up ahead. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wait for me, bitch. So, you were already here. Well, yeah, he got here before we did. He just go off somewhere alone. If you hate the the entire world, where are you supposed to go? My name's Ritter wrote the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. I don't really get his goals. Just seem way out there, like someone bonked them on the head a little too hard and he's suffering from horrible, horrible brain damage. Not any worthless world. Oh crap. Okay, Cyrus, time for our final battle. Galactic boss. Oh, that's a one creepy motherfucker. Okay, he's got a Houndoom, and I got a Torterra. And I am just going to go for an Earthquake, and he's going to go for a Flamethrower that I did not see coming. 
I was expecting like a fire fang or something, and I could definitely live one of those. But flamethrower, not so much. Damn it, Torterra. Okay, I uh, need water. So, Orgabite. Gabite also works. Earthquake. Dark Pulse. Oh boy. Just watch him. I can, I can probably live this, but just watch him flinch me. No! Nice. Come on, Gabite. One hit KO. I know you can do it. It's only a Houndoom. Houndoom is not bulky in any stretch of the imagination. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Good job, Gabite. You do not disappoint. For once. Level 43. Only five more levels until evolution. Be about damn time, though. Next is a Weavile. Huh. That might be a bit of a problem. Let's go for Star Raptor, I guess. Intimidate allows me to survive an ice move or something, and then I can KO back with the close combat. Oh, 48. Damn. Why is he so much higher leveled than me? Fake out. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's an egg move for Sneasel. So why the hell has he been breathing for egg moves? And Ice Punch. That's also an... Oh, the way, that's, I think that's actually a tutor move in this game. Come on, Sir Raptor. Nice. Ah! Oh, no freaking way, man. God fucking damn it. I will not stand for this. This calls for... I think I have like a full restore or something around here. Yep, here we go. Full restore. Screw you, Weavile. I need my Sir Raptor. Although he's probably just gonna knock me right back down into red health with another Ice Punch. Or he goes for Night Slash instead. Works for me, just watch him get a critical hit. No critical hit, okay. Uh, still, I can survive another Ice Punch though. Or can I? I love to give it a go. See what happens. Okay, Monster Raptor, crap. Thought I could perhaps live that if I was lucky. But of course, I should learn by now, I am never lucky. Porygon Z, you're up. Signal Beam should, uh... Attack boost, come on! Give me a break here, game. Throw me a freaking bone. Ice Punch, yeah, that's not that bad, actually. Come on, can I get a Confusion or something? Any... Ah, oh, man. Oh, nice, there we go. Now I just hope he hits himself. Instead of always being allowed to attack. Nice. Okay, this should... Damn it! Should have taken him out with a signal beam, but of course he has that damn berry on him. So I'm guessing Weavile is the strongest Pokemon? Because all the gym leaders and all that stuff also have the berries on their strongest Pokemon. So I guess if I get this one down, then the hard part's over. Okay, one more signal beam. And down goes that SOB. Okay, what else does he have? I think he has a Crobat, and uh, how many Pokemon does he have remaining in a Gyarados? Oh, three. Okay, so Gyarados, I think he definitely also has a Crobat. I can't remember the last one, though. Come on, Porygon. Oh, crap. How is Gyarados faster? Okay, Porygon Z is not that fast, but neither is Gyarados. So that's quite bad, but luckily I still have Rotom, who is definitely faster than any Gyarados. And can definitely one-hit KO1, one, even though it's five levels higher than Rotom is. I just hope that whatever else he has is also weak to Electric. Crobat is. Because uh, Torterra's down, Staraptor's down, Porygon Z's down, Gabite is all but down. Uh, I guess Octillery is still there. That's something. Oh, Hunchcrow. Hmm. Crap, it might have... Oh, it doesn't go for Sucker Punch. Because Rotom is weak to that, that might have taken him out. Especially because he's six levels higher than I am. And come on. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, God damn the f bloody invisible pixel of health again. Come on, Rotom, I need you. Crap. This is not shaping up to be an, a good battle for me. Okay, Gabite. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that he's gonna go for a healing item or something. Or that I'm faster. Could be. Of course he heals up now. Well, let's see how much uh, Dragon Claw does. 
probably not that much. Maybe a 2 hit KO at best. Come on, Gabite. Ah, of course it's barely a 3 hit KO. Oh man, I think I have like a couple of revives around here somewhere because I am gonna need those. And he goes for Psychic. That's a weird move on a Honchkrow. I guess it could work if you if you have like a special one, but that's not really... Honchkrow is n really the only redeeming thing it has is Sucker Punch to meditate his low speed. Special attacking Honchkrow has no priority and is therefore not that good. Anyway, Thunderbolt. Max Revive on Rotom is what I did. Because uh, Rotom is definitely going to be able to save this battle for me. All he needs to do now is take out that Crobat, which I know he has, because I'm pretty sure he had that the last time we fought him. Which wasn't that long ago, only like a couple episodes. Anyway, Crobat again. I admit that you have pushed me to this extreme. Confuse Ray. Oh no. I can see where this is going. And I don't like it. Not one bit. Come on, Rotom. There we go, that's the spirit. Might be a one-hit KO, actually. Because Rotom's pretty powerful, Golbat's and uh, Crobat's not particularly bulky. Ah, of course not. It's not possible that I lose. It's very possible. Also very probable. It didn't seem as probable a few turns ago, but it definitely turned around. Nice one, Rotom. You are doing an, a bang-up job at sweeping his team. And once again, Rotom saves the day, just like in the last few gym battles. Will he continue his lucky streak in the future? Only time will tell. Anyway, up your Cyrus. No evil plan for you. Don't think you can defeat or capture that Pokemon. Well, uh, we'll just uh, see what happens. Make like this world disappear. Very well, do what you will. You're going to destroy it for me. Hmm. Yeah, that might be a bit of a tricky situation there. If what he says is right, at least. Okay, so you say it's not true. Not only yours either, the Pokemon with you, the people close to you, yada yada yada, all the philosophical oh, Pokemon love you and all that stuff crap. A world wind spirit, let's go meet Giratina. Yeah, just please uh, heal my Pokemon first, because I'm not about to go and fight a legendary Pokemon with just Rotom, a banged up Gabite, and an Octillery. That's not gonna go well. So Mercy Distorts your world on our world of the Spear Pillar, that's why both worlds are becoming distorted. You can defeat Giratina and show the tight bond you share with your Pokemon, how much it wants to join you. Okay then. Well, why the hell not? Okay, who... I guess we'll put Rotom up front. Fight a ghost with a ghost. It's probably not gonna go very well though. What the hell was that? Gigwagigoguo. Well, I guess that's better than P. Ah, there we go, platforms. Alright, come on. Oh, jeez. Go on, Giratina. And there he is. All golden and red and grey. I will say I quite like his color scheme. It's pretty cool looking. But as far as his design goes, I feel it's a little bit uh, overcomplicated. It's like what people say is apparently wrong with many of the newer Pokemon, it's like spikes and stripes everywhere. And I can kind of see where they're coming from if you look at this Giratina. Anyway, let's go Rotom, level 47. And it's powerful as all hell. So we'll lead it off with a Confuse Ray. If the AI is allowed to be cheap the entire damn game, then so am I. And let's see, does he hit himself? Nice, good start Rotom. My lucky washing machine still has it. Shadow Ball. It's not gonna one hit KO, no way in hell, but it'll probably do a decent amount of damage. Ah, oh, that's actually quite disappointing. This isn't even the defensive Giratina. Ominous Wind. Crap, that might be an easy 2 hit KO. Yup, easy 2 hit KO. Oh no, that's bad. Ominous Wind can also raise all your stats by one stage. So, oh, and he's not confused anymore, and he knows Dragon Claw. Problems, people, we may have them. Just watch this thing sweep my entire bloody team now. Uh, who's next? Porygon Z. I don't know why, 
but he's the strongest I have. Special attack boost, excellent, just what I need. Ancient power. Okay, so he's got Ominous Wind, Dragon Claw, Ancient Power, and some other move. Ice Beam. I guess his uh, special defense boost is at least mitigated by my special attack boost. Still doesn't defeat him. Okay, I guess I should... Uh, Ominous Wind doesn't affect me, Giratina. Thunderbolt, weaken him a little bit so I can try and capture him. Shouldn't knock him out. Uh, ah, Porygon Z, god damn it, why? Why would you do such a thing? Well, guess I won't be catching Giratina after all. That Pokemon, that cherry Pokemon was defeated? Yep, by a washing machine and a buggy computer program. Even if I made new regime, the new world can be made. Why? What compels you to protect the two worlds? Well, I don't know, maybe we don't want to die. There's a thing. The time we spend living, the languages we speak. We're all different, but the presence of Pokemon unites us. Yes, as long as you make everyone in the world play Pokemon, then we will have world peace. So if someone send a couple million copies of Pokemon games to the Middle East and they'll stop bombing each other and they'll be happy with everyone else. This I promise you will break the secrets of the world. I will create my own imperfect world, yeah, yeah, yeah. A world without spirits. And away he goes. Apparently he wants to stay here. Well, fine with me. Pretty sure that there's nothing to eat in here, so he'll be dead within a week. Alright, it sends reason that it has a link to the other side. There's a portal. Will you leap into the portal? Sure, why not? Where will we appear? I've never seen this place before. Send off spring. The lead to the great beyond. So what, we were in the realm of the dead just now? Yikes. You're incredible, you really are a fantastic trainer. Thank you. Indeed I am. Anyway, that's uh, all for now. In the next episode, we'll do more stuff. Bye-bye.